Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you would implement a external or third-party API request into your backend. So a lot of times when building our applications, we find that we want to extend the functionality of our application using a type of service that a third party uh, provides. And oftentimes these third party providers will have an API that you can find. So what Xana does is it makes it super easy for you to implement that API into your backend. So in order for me to show you guys this, I created a custom function. I just named it external API request. And if I go into my function stack and hit this blue plus button, we can see at the bottom of choosing an option, there's this external API request. So if I click onto that, this window opens up again and there's this import curl button right here at the top right. If I click that, we can see we can enter a curl command. And a curl command is just that uh, API endpoint that that third party provider is going to give you. So for this example, I'm going to uh, use some SendGrid uh, curl commands. Even though we've already uh, created a SendGrid extension for you to send emails, they just have nice curl commands which are easy for this example. So I've got one web page open here in SendGrid, and you can see right here it says curl. And I can actually just copy this, come back to Xano, paste this in, and then I can simply just hit import. And when I do that, we can see that we have some authentication here that was built out. And we have uh, your API key, which you would need to actually um, get your API key in order for this to function properly. And next, um, we can see that there's no parameter set. So the nice thing about SendGrid is it actually gives us this sort of example uh, request body. So I can actually copy this JSON object and then I can come back to Xano and then if I hit this drop down menu where it says parameters and go all the way to the right where it says actions, I can actually import that JSON object. So I click that and then I can just paste it into this field and click import. So now we can see that this curl command is built out programmatically for us here in Xano. So that's important because this means I could customize anything in here. Like for example, if I didn't want john at example.com, I could put in my own input here and with any of these values. So if I just hit save here and go to my input and then I created an email input here and I'll just name it email and hit save and then if I go back into uh, this API request function and then if I went and found that john at example.com and right here where it says value if I hit this drop down menu and just click input and see that email that I just created um, now I can put in whatever email I want and we see that updates to input and email. So just to review sort of what we did there, first we imported a curl and I got that right here on the SendGrid page. And notice it said your data here. And then what I did is in Xano, I went to this JSON parameters and I imported uh, the JSON object that was also right here. So uh, sometimes it's really great because these third party providers will give you a complete curl command where you don't have to do uh, these two steps, right? Uh, so I can actually also find a complete curl command in SendGrid. So what I'm going to do, I'll go to the SendGrid page, and right here I have uh, this complete curl command open. So I can actually grab this entire thing, and I'll copy that. And if I come back into Xano, and I'll just create a new function here. So I'll open this, and then I'll click external API request again. And in the same fashion, I'm just going to hit import curl and paste that complete curl command in there. And now when I hit import and scroll down, you'll see these parameters are already uh, pro programmatically uh, filled out for us in Xano. And of course, I could make the similar changes. Uh, here's John Doe at example.com if I wanted to put in my own input or with any of those values, um, just create inputs and then make sure you map them right there. So as you can see, the complexity and steps that you need to take are often going to uh, depend on how much information that third party provider is going to give you for that external API request or, or curl command. But as you can see, we make it uh, really simple for you to extend the functionality 
of your backend using Xano. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.